What's going on guys? It's Airsoft Steve and today we're going to be taking a look at these wonderfully, probably dangerous little glass BBs. So if you search around YouTube and the internet, there is not a small amount of incidences where you'll see glass BBs being used and usually the results aren't too too positive. You see a lot of videos of guys getting hit in the mesh with these and then they break and cause a whole bunch of cuts and stuff on people's faces. So I thought we should take a look at some pretty widely available ones. These are literally on Evike. Don't recommend buying them unless you're like competition shooting, which is what they're made for. If you look at it, it says like special upgrade, which is competition shooting, which I don't know how prevalent that is with airsoft guns, but if you do it, good for you. If you need the glass BBs, that's fine. But I don't think there's a place for them in just normal airsoft gameplay. So today we're gonna put to the test all the different ways you could be hit with this and see just how dangerous they really can be. Um, I think these are .28 BBs, so they're not relatively that heavy for being made of glass as opposed to plastic. Um, so I mean, they, they can be used pretty easily. Um, as just normal BBs. Um, so we're gonna put in some normal everyday contacts. So first we got a mesh mask and some normal goggles. We'll use a couple different FPS guns, shoot it at it, see if they shatter, see if it puts anything through the mesh that could possibly cause damage to whoever's, whoever's wearing this. Then we'll move to just the normal paintball mask, full protection. Obviously if you got hit with glass shards, it probably wouldn't be as bad as this, but it's still not safe to be shooting glass around. And then finally, if that does nothing, we'll, we'll move to just a full metal target and see if we can't get some of these glass BBs to shatter. All right, guys, so for each one of these tests, um, I'm just gonna chrono all these guns really quick, just so you can see what they're shooting beforehand, so we can get kind of an idea of how hard um, these BBs are actually gonna be hitting our targets. Um, so we're gonna do a quick chrono. They are 0.28, so I've adjusted that. So we're gonna go based off of um, the jewel reading as opposed to the FPS, um, just because the FPS obviously is gonna be lower just because we're using a heavier BB, um, but that doesn't mean it has less force behind it, that just means it's traveling, it's a heavier object traveling slower, so it still has a lot of force behind it, so we're obviously going to be looking at the jewel here, so I'll, I'm not sure how well it's going to come up on camera, so I'll definitely mark the actual reading underneath in text, but let's start with it. So for my first one, I'm going to be using the MS ASG M40A3, um, really, really affordable sniper option by the way, um, but it is shooting pretty hard, so let's just chrono it right here. All of them already have the glass BBs in, so that's should be good. So 1.29 joules, and 1.27. So right under 1.3 joules, that's a pretty good baseline. This is the lowest, um, or slowest shooting gun I, I'm gonna be using, um, just because I, I really wanna give these kind of the worst case scenario, like you're being shot from 20 feet away with the sniper kind of thing. So there's that first gun here that and safe next gun we're going to be testing out with the bbs is going to be this echo one red star csr this thing this thing shoots hot out of the box um so that's definitely a good candidate throw it in here really quick and i'm in safe 1.43 2.16 i think that might have been oh, nope 2.13 2.31 so it's shooting hard <laughs> and then the last one is going to be the Stan Wesson revolver this is gonna be my literally five feet away we're gonna try shooting these masks because this thing does not shoot light for being in a pistol that this that's this small um, so I think this would be worst case scenario I'm five feet away from you I'm shooting you with this tiny little gun Let's see what happens right chrono it here 2.22 it was a misread 2.15 so obviously let's save here this gun is shooting really 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 hot for how for how small it is so we're going to try some really close-up shots against this mesh see how these glass bbs fare all right so i don't get harassed on the internet put on the goggles um so let's start with our sniper here um i believe it's shooting just under 1.3 joules and I spilt these glass BBs everywhere, which sucks, because they are not cheap. Just gonna just toss those off to the side. And let's do this. I'm gonna shoot three at each target.
All right, as you guys can see here, none of the BBs actually shattered, which was super surprising, but obviously we did some pretty, ooh, sorry for the camera, pretty bad damage to the mesh here, pretty far indented, and then obviously cracked the crap out of this mask here. Um, the inner shell is fine, just this weird, cool little mesh looking part is, is broken, unfortunately. And then obviously we did some pretty heavy indentations on the metal here, but still nothing cracked, which is so surprising. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do point blank range with our with our revolver here and see if we can't get a single BB to crack Because you know if it can do it once then there's a chance you can do it during the game. So let's try and do it All right, have you guys set up to the side got our revolver here Cock it back. Let's try this. I'm gonna start with a mesh first We get two BBs per each point blank. Just see what happens. No shatters. Try with the mask here. And then the metal. That one shattered. That's had, I saw a couple chunks fly past me. And that one hit me. All right, let me look at that video really quick because I am pretty sure I just got one to shatter. After a lot, a lot of searching on my wonderful concrete patch here while my BBs are flinging. I have found it. So I had one BB shatter out of all of them and it's falling apart even more right now. It was originally just in one chunk here, but I'm gonna set it on the table there so I don't get glass shards. But obviously we have little pieces of glass and it's breaking apart literally as I'm holding it. So even though it was worst, worst case scenario, obviously shooting really high powered revolver at straight up metal and that's what it took to break it. That's not to say that that's uncommon. You know, these things can shatter no matter what's happening. You, they're really unpredictable. And if plastic shatters, it's not a huge deal. If glass shatters, that is going straight into your skin. So if you take nothing from this video at all, at least know, and here's a little warning to you. If you do use some glass BBs, these things are not meant for your normal airsoft gun. And here's why. One, they're going to shatter, so it's super dangerous to use these. Even if it's really uncommon for them to shatter, they will shatter. And two, it actually damages the barrel of your airsoft gun. So, as opposed to just a normal soft plastic BB going down this long metal tube, we now have this very, very rigid glass, which is probably not totally perfect, and it's going to cause a whole bunch of scratches in your barrel. And over time, it's going to wear it down way, way, way more than a plastic BB would. So... If I have one final word to you, even if you're using, even if you don't care about hurting someone else, shooting these at people, um, the biggest thing is it will eventually hurt your airsoft gun, which is stupid, and there's no point in spending more money to get these glass BBs. So, yeah, that's my message to you.